Breaking, U.S. Supreme Court reinstates Louisiana congressional district map that a lower court had blocked over racial bias concerns. Wow, the Supreme Court sure is acting quickly. They are legitimately, like, every single day making a new ruling to make the country worse. A 6-3 to three decision. They are going ahead with a racist uh, congressional district map. What are ways we can stop this? Buy a gun. Not gonna lie, I strongly think you're dead wrong. We've had photos of the concentration camps at the border and hundreds of corpses from people from ice mocking said people slash bodies. Oh yeah, I don't really think there's much that can be done. Listen, what what do you what do you guys want me to say? What do you want me to get my YouTube channel banned? You you all know perfectly well what I think is going to happen in this country. All right, all of you are perfectly well aware of the fact that I think that Republicans are going to attempt another coup, dismantle our democratic processes, and build camps. All right, you all know that. I can't keep repeating that. You all ask me, you know. What if we can't buy guns? Buy hammers. And don't buy guns if you have mental health issues. And quit being stupid. Ask me the same fucking questions every time. What can we do about this? I know that you're all feeling doomer about this, but like... The real answers are the same as always. Go out and fucking campaign, alright? Talk to people. Um, like, go look for local representatives that you can talk with. We have a whole fucking canvassing that we're going to try to tip off. In this case, the primaries matter infinitely less than the generals, unfortunately. But we're going to do what we can. Um, you know? Uh, fucking talk to people. Join orgs. Join the SRA. Join the DSA. Work with Democrats. Democrats in office are far better than Republicans, even if they are not fully the solution, okay? At the end of the day, like, here's what you have to understand, okay? Past a certain point... You continuing to watch my content when you're like, what should we do, what should we do? Like, is self-harm, okay? That's what you're doing. All right? You know what you should be doing. You literally, you can literally Google, like, local political candidates and, like, call them. Like, you, you know what you can do. You just don't want to do it. What you want is for me to calm you. But I can't calm you. Things are as bad as you think it is. Uh, as you think they are. Possibly worse. You want reassurance. But I have none to offer. If you want action, then you can take it. But I can't force you to take action. I can't force you to go to your local fucking Dems office and go door to door and try to convince these aging fucking dipshits that actually it's not good for the world to end, you know? That's on you. If you want motivation, then look, well, the canvassing stuff is going to be dope, okay? We're going to have a website add-on and everything, all right? We'll make it like a Vibdio game. Um, we'll work on that. We'll make it happen, okay? But when you ask me, like, well, what should we do? Like, I can like, I think it'd be good if you did a segment on gun safety. I'm not taking responsibility for any of you fucking people owning guns and trying to do backflips while holding a loaded revolver and doing the, the, you know, you... Goddamn, look up gun safety. I've done talked about it before. I'm just fucking stupid. What am I supposed to say to my local officials? You don't talk to your local officials. You talk for them. You advocate on their behalf for canvassing, or phone banking, or text banking. You can talk to them if you want to challenge them on something. But you know what? If you guys want to talk to your local officials, then all you need to do is go and stir up a ruckus uh, at all of the public events held by your local Republican officials. If you live in a red area, and you don't mind that much being a rabble-rouser in that area, and there are local Republican candidates that are going and doing like little debates, some are doing, you know, talking to a public or whatever. Go there and call them out on every terrible thing they've ever done or said. Yeah, join the DSA. Yeah, this is what you guys are up against. This is what you need to understand, okay? This is from Marjorie Taylor Greene from a couple days ago. Passing red flag laws was not a solution by Democrats to stop mass shooting. It'll be a tool to disarm any gun owner that wants to stop abortion the trans agenda on kids, mass illegal migration, and big government oppression suffocating our families' faith and freedoms. So, this explicitly means that she wants gun possession to be maintained by Republicans to shoot and kill undocumented immigrants, trans people, and people who support trans people, and people having abortions. That there's no other way to interpret this. This is an unambiguous endorsement of stochastic terrorism against those groups of people. It is a call to action, okay? She would build camps. She would preside over those camps. She would lie to the media about where all of you went after you were loaded on train cars. 
This is not exceptional. Nazis are not exceptional. They led a whole fucking government. They've led multiple governments. Nazis were not that unpopular in the U.S. before World War II, at which point they only became unpopular because we were literally at war with them, and the Nazis didn't just disappear, they just went quiet. Nazism, or ultra, you know, fascism, or whatever the fuck else, um, these are not that uncommon of beliefs. Um, in fact, I would go so far as to say that if you were to generalize human political beliefs all across the world into the three main camps, socialist, liberal, and fascist, liberalism would have the first, and fascism would trail right behind it. It might actually be the other way around. Socialism is way in third. Fascism and fascist thinking is not that uncommon. Look around the- Nah? Yeah, actually. Look around the world, buddy. Democracies, the minority, and liberals within democratic societies are not even a supermajority. Yeah, fascism is unexceptional, it is common, it is everywhere, and they want you dead, and they will kill you if they get the chance. Marjorie Taylor Greene will preside over your corpse. And a lot of the people who vote for her either explicitly agree with that, or are so stupid that they will support people who do believe that explicitly every stage of the way. And if you want to stop that, then yeah, go join the SRA, go join the DSA, go to your local Republican, uh, you know, meet and greets or whatever's and give them hell, heckle them, go to your local Democratic candidates and see how you can help. I can facilitate that to an extent, but a lot of this has to be a mind state thing on your guys' part. How much hentai do you jerk it to? Do you know how much phone banking you could be doing? Do you have any idea how much text banking you could be doing with your other hand while you're jerking it with the other one? You know, you could be you could be managing a lot, frankly. There's a lot you could be doing. But you know what you do? You squatted my chat like some fetid fucking doomer posting shithead asking me for reassurance. When I turn the stream off, do you know what I do? I try not to think about it. I play video games and I eat high calorie food. I am not a fucking priest. I am not the advent of your being saved. I am not a genius. I don't have some special insight into the political process that you don't have or aren't capable of receiving yourself. I am a moderately intelligent, optimistic person who has a reasonably decent, uh, you know, rhetorical ability, and that's it. It is a limited skill set for which I am perfectly placed here as a live streamer, but do not ask me for reassurance or absolution on your personal doomerism, okay? Please. I swear to God, it's like a lot of you, you want me to lead you out of the, you know, to the promised land, like Moses. I can't do that for you. I'm sorry. If you're, and you know what? If you're upset about the state of the world, you know what? I'm going to say it. Fucking tough it up. Most people throughout most of human history have lived short, desperate, violent lives under the constant threat of immediate and unfair oppression, okay? You can be sad, but you don't get to be doomer. Doomerism I have no patience for. Sadness, despair, depression, yeah, that's natural, that's healthy, don't get me wrong. Doomerism, no, 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 okay? You know, for thousands of years, the default feudal state of society was one in which you could just be killed and your wife or whatever raped by a local lord or a knight of that lord, and nothing could be done about it. Literally nothing could be done. Zero squat zilch nothing. There is no fairness in life. Fairness is not something to which you are guaranteed. It is something that you fight for. And even relatively fair societies have at best a tenuous grasp on the concept. You look back at your ancestors. Look back to the socialist revolutionaries of 80, 90, 100 years ago. Look to the anarchists in the streets of Chicago and New York. Look to the union uh, workers, the union leads, the laborers. Were their lives fair? Fucking no. They lived horrible lives. And they fought anyway. They lived horrible lives. They were killed by the Pinkertons. They were fucking blown up in their tenements. They fought against the US fucking government and the privateers and the goddamn capitalists. For what? What did they get? Well, a lot of them got nothing but coal lung. We got weekends. And they continued to fight. And they died. And we remember them favorably for it. Nobody remembers the Doomers. Because the Doomers didn't get to participate. They sat on the sidelines and thought, why me? Why you? Not just you, everyone. Why everyone? You live in America. How do you think the people in fucking Bangladesh are doing? How do you think the people in the Philippines are doing? How about Russia? How about Ukraine? How about Hungary? How about 
fucking Saudi Arabia. Why me? Why me? A chorus of why me's, billions strong. Join them. You'll be louder than anything else on Earth. You can't be Doomer. You can be sad. I wouldn't take that from you. I get sad. Everyone gets sad. You can't be Doomer because you're not productive when you're Doomering. You're destructive. That's it. You can be Coomer. That's fine. But you can be sad. This isn't about emotional repression here. This isn't about, uh, you know, you have to tough it up and pretend that you're not. No, 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 no. You should be uh, emotionally intelligent and self-aware. That's fine. You know, uh, be sad. I don't want to take that from you. When I say Doomer, what I mean is this, there's nothing we can do, why me, this is hopeless, whatever. It is never hopeless. When has it ever been hopeless? Name me anything that is truly, properly fucking homeless. You can't. Homeless. I can think of a few things that are homeless. Hopeless. I meant to say hopeless. Seriously. Well, hey, what can be homeless when Earth is our home, huh? Really think about it. That's right. Deep, huh? Look. Think of the innumerate tribes and villages that were bowled over by Genghis Khan. Think of the civilizations swallowed by the Romans. Think of the Ottoman Empire, or the Persians, or the Macedonians. How many billions of humans have died thinking everything was over? Think of the, the, the innumerable fucking Chinese civil wars. All those peasants and farmers taking up their pitchforks and spears, dying by the millions in combat with each other, thinking, if we don't win this, it's all over. And where are we now? It clearly was never over, was it? It never really was over. How many people died thinking it was over? Probably like a lot of people, right? Think of all the uh, Europeans who died during Black Death. Millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people. You know what they had to do during the time, during Black Death? Imagine living back then, okay? People marked the doors of houses that contained the plagued so that others could know to pick up their corpses soon, okay? They had different markings for houses that were infected and houses that were plagued. The population of Europe dropped by between a third and one half. Nothing was safe. Do you know how long the Black Death lasted? There were varying waves that went across centuries. People were born in a peak of Black Death and died 50 years later at a peak of Black Death. The same peak. Their whole life just a cavalcade of their friends dying around them. Their friends, their family. And you know what their job was? They had to work on the farm for 16 hours a day. Because if they didn't get enough wheat for their local lord, a knight would come over and rape their daughter. And they kept working. Bleak it may be, but we have an unconquerable spirit when we want to. You know, humans are capable of incredible persistence. And I'm not asking that all of you, you know, adopt some jihadist idealization of martyrdom, you know, like you should all think like, yes, for the glory of the global proletariat, I will dedicate my life. You should have time for masturbation and boba tea. You know, I'm not asking you forgo these things. I'm just asking you be respectful of your ability to persevere through difficult times. That's it. I'm asking you to have faith in you. That's what I'm asking. Have faith in your ability to believe that a few decades from now, you're going to get to be talking to your friends or kids or whatever and say, yeah, we had some rough times back then. But we made it through. A lot of people get to do that, you know. A lot of people get to say, oh yeah, we made it through some tough times. Not this, there were still tough times. I'm just saying. I just, I get pissed off by the numerous shit in chat, you know. I know it's a natural reaction to what's happening, but 
you know, part of being a political actor is forming the discipline and self-confidence necessary to avoid sinking into that. You know, this was my big problem with Chapo Trap House. Leaving aside the fact that they're all dumb gay losers. After the Bernie primary shit went south, their instinct for enthusiastic political engagement dried up and they just wanted to be the snidiest, smarmiest, smuggest people on the Titanic, you know? They wanted to sit there on the Titanic as it sank going, there's no point in running, you know? The lifeboats are, the lifeboats are full, you know? There's no chance, you know? It's all over already, you know? Don't you know? <laughs> this guy doesn't even know. Bad attitude. Still funny. They're still funny. Bad attitude. You get me, right? Does everyone get me? I hope I'm not rambling for no sake at all. I just, I hate, I just, I, I just think, and you'll be happier for it, by the way, you know? You'll be happier for it. Um, if you can overcome that. Um, or at least fight against it. And again, if you want to fight against that, the best thing that you can do, in addition to the obvious stuff, like having good mental health, Go outside, get your vitamin D, eat a balanced meal, maintain a consistent sleep schedule. You know. Aside from that. Is to participate. Um, really. Join the DSA. Look to your local chapters. Most of you are probably in proximity of one. The SRA. Take a look at it. Might not be a chapter near you. Still. Give them a look. Get involved. Talk with people. Go and look at actionable causes in your area. I guarantee you that if you live... Oh, don't get me wrong. The DSA is in a rough spot right now, but your participation can only make it better. A Vauchite DSA is a strong DSA. Of course, Luxander. You have to take time to relax. You have to maintain... Good mental health. But you have to act. You have to act uh, on what is available to you, on what's in your area, you know? There are any number of causes. If you live in a town that has more than 10,000 people in it, I guarantee you there is something good there. There is some local cause, some environmental, political, economic, something, something that is just desperate for well-intentioned, smart, young people like you or old people, you know, to get involved. They want that more than anything else. Their eyes will light up as they see you. You will make friends. You will gain experience and awareness that you did not think were possible. And you will begin to believe in the ability for individual contributions to have positive effects on large problems. Okay? Okay. Oh yeah, if you join the DSA, don't tell them that you're a fan of mine. The DSA doesn't like me. Infiltrate them quietly, okay? <laughs>